Theater is the performing art in which live performers, usually actors and actresses, act to perform an experience or moral to the audience. Theater at WCHS has been active this year with their most recent play, they performed The Wizard Delivers. We talked to Tara Sawyer to get a better look into theater in their recent play, The Wizard Delivers. So Theater Club essentially is a group that kids can get together. We get together twice uh, or once every two weeks. And we also are the group that puts on performances. So at club meetings, we're talking about club business. We're trying to raise money for the program so we can do plays or musicals. And we're also having fun. We're doing improv games. We're learning about different styles of theater, styles of acting. We're watching performances. And then there's the component of performing the shows. So you don't have to be in the theater club to perform in the shows, but it definitely helps because it's your one-way ticket to all the information you need for auditions for plays and musicals. So things that we do. One, we do plays. Two, we do musicals. Three, we do improv. Uh, we uh, play improv games of all kinds. Uh, they're super fun. Uh, we have been trying to fundraise. We do some costuming. We work on... Uh, I recently taught some kids how to do some lighting, how to work with the lighting console in the auditorium. Uh, so it really is up to the students what they're interested in in regards to theater, and if they have an interest in it, I'm happy to teach it. Okay, forget opening statements. Let's move right on to the evidence. Your Honor, these two boneheads spent pretty much their entire lives playing Fortnite or watching videos of other people playing Fortnite. They stopped going to school, they don't have jobs, they're not studying for their GEDs. Basically, they have no upper trajectory whatsoever. I think I get a variety of kids. I get kids who've never tried theater before and it just seems like something fun to do. And it definitely is. It, you get an instant group of friends because the kids that are involved in theater, they're uh, delightfully intense about it um, and very, very friendly. And then the other group of kids that I get are kids who are maybe interested in acting one day. Maybe they have some experience and it's a great opportunity for them too. If you just want to dip your toe in, kind of see what acting, theater, stage stuff is all about, this is a great place. So The Wizard Delivers is a brand new play. The playwright is a friend of mine, uh, so we were the first cast to perform it. It's about teenagers. We wanted to do a piece that was really relatable for our students. So the play revolves around a young woman, 19 years old, that everyone calls the wizard. And they call her the wizard because she allegedly gives really great advice. And so all of these other 17, 18, 19 year old kids are coming to her for advice on college, advice on uh, interpersonal issues, advice on uh, big life stuff. And you fluctuate in moments between, okay, she sounds like she really knows what she's talking about. And other moments when you're like, is that really the best advice for those kids? Uh, and it's called The Wizard Delivers, obviously, because she's the wizard, but also she works at a pizza place. Uh, so that's the location for the play, and that's where the characters are coming to meet her, is the back alley of the pizza place. Well, the shows are going to get bigger and more familiar. Uh, so we have to start uh, small and classic uh, as we build funds. So we have to consider the rights for musicals, just for example. Uh, range anywhere from a thousand to five, six, seven thousand dollars. So the rights to older shows are a little bit cheaper and as we need to build funds we got to start with some of the older classic shows uh, but as we build up funds and build up an audience we're gonna move towards uh, more cutting edge, newer productions, musicals and plays, some names that you'll really recognize uh, and we want to start getting in uh, additional performance groups too. So I'm involved with an improv company. Uh, we've been talking with them about having them do a performance at the school. There's touring productions uh, that will often do high school matinees. So we want to go on some field trips as well. And who knows? The sky's the limit. Mm -hmm.